Senior Network. Whoa! That dude was just out on the trail. What is that? Um, that is an elk. Holy jeez, there's a couple of them. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to leave now. Yeah, please don't chase me. I have a gun. And it's buried in my backpack. This is it though. This is just a nice relaxing ride in the woods. This is what I needed. So stressed out lately. Well, let me tell you. So where I work now, still the same place I worked before, there were two network technicians and a contractor when I started. And I became the fourth person or second contractor, however you want to look at it. Then one of the full-time guys left for another job, better pay, and I was offered his job after the con after the contractor that I was with quit. And we hired another contractor, and he was awesome, but we didn't have the funding to offer him a full-time position, and. He wanted more stability, understandable. No problems there, I love that guy, he was great. But as a result, he quit. So then, it was just down to me and uh, one other guy. And he's super smart. God, this is sand. Oh. Mike was just listing back and forth, I hate that. But yeah, so he quit. And it was just me and the other guy, super smart guy. He was working on his CCIE and Cisco Collaboration, or Cisco Voice over IP. You know, it's, it's, it's their latest thing. So, you know, not a slouch there either. And he studied for it, and the company paid for his certification testing after he passed. And they paid for his bachelor's degree, which was required to get promoted to where he was. Which brings up another part of the story. I, I should backtrack for a second. I know people hate that, you know, stories don't follow a line. So think of him as Tarantino for a moment. Before I get there, he was, he was one of the first guys working there. And he was hired on under a different job title because he did not have his bachelor's degree which was a requirement to have the job title. So the company hired him at 30000 under what he was making, or what he was offered at his previous place, but he wanted to work here. So he came on board and they were paying for his college, so he considered that, you know, breaking even. And they paid for that. And he got his promotion, had a decent raise, but not up to where he should have been. Then he took the certification test and passed that. And he had been given a raise just before he passed the cert. So he was roughly where he should have been when they hired him originally. They finally matched that, from my understanding. And our boss, knowing that he couldn't keep someone with a CCIE, making less, making what he was making, honestly, tried to get him another promotion. And the business said no because he'd already been promoted two times in the last year. Through no fault of his own, he deserved to be there when they started. What they told him, oh, be before I go on, for anyone who's not familiar with what a CCIE is, it is one of the highest certifications you can get in the networking career field. If you wanted to put it in terms of college degrees, it would be like the doctorate. So, he's basically at a point where he could go get a job anywhere, but he wanted to work with us. He's comfortable and happy working with us. But when the boss went and asked for that other job, and we even opened up a requisition for 
senior network. And they told him, look, we're not going to give you another raise. If you want to get a raise and a promotion, you go interview with some other companies. And when you get an offer, you bring it back and we'll, ma we'll see what we can do about matching it. So, he did. He did exactly what they told him to. As soon as he left that meeting, he came back and started calling recruiters. He got an interview and came back with an offer. He didn't even ask for it. They, they offered to pay him 10,000 more than he was asking from our company. With a contract that said if he met expectations in one year, they would give him an additional $30,000 a year. Oh, oh, and I have not yet mentioned, this job is working from home four days a week. Our, our company can't even come close to that. And this guy just got married. He's, he's got, he just bought a house. So, of course he took it. I mean, he took, he brought the paper in. He showed it to uh, our boss. Our boss took it to his boss. His boss took it to the VP. And the VP said, whoa, that's a lot of money. We can't counter that. They didn't even bother trying to counter it. Now, he told me, and if they had listened, he would have told them, he was willing to work for what he had originally asked for. But now he's gone which is kind of interesting because it opened up a networking position that was one higher than mine. It went out and uh, yeah, I applied for it. it. It showed up on our internal jobs. So of course I applied for it. Why wouldn't I? My boss did tell me that I was due for a raise and a promotion uh, next year in February, but you know, who wouldn't jump on the opportunity to get it early? I mean, that just seems silly. So once I found out my friend was leaving, I told my boss, well, hey, I, I updated my resume, and I'm going to apply for this job. I figure if you don't want to see my resume, there are plenty of people that will. Which, it, admittedly, is kind of a dick move. But it's also kind of holding them hostage. Because now there's just me and one other guy who has one year experience. I am now the senior networking technician for the company I work for, which is horrible because though I have 15 years experience on a master's degree, but yeah, so now I'm the senior guy, there's only two of us, and I'm now stuck on call every other week. Can't leave cell range every other week, but you know, if anything good came from this, it's that I might get a promotion but it's mostly bad because he's not there to ask questions or he's not there to bounce my ideas off of him anymore. I, I don't particularly like being at the top. I would be happy if we hired someone better than me to fill the other position that also opened up. So I don't know. That's my, that's my new work situation.